What is up, fuzzy tits? I'm McStud. And welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show. It's Monday, Meat Shake Monday, Mount Your Mother Monday. This is what I'll do later. But anyways, it's motherfucking Monday. Hope you guys are staying cool. But first, a tasty cold beverage. It's fucking hot today. Got some bad fucking heat. Uh, heat index is like 105. Might be out here at 115 tomorrow or something stupid like that. Fuck that. Oh, hey. Got a little foamy. It's trying to come in my face. Cheers, bitches. Mm. Yeah, man. Like I said, it is Monday, and if you're in the Midwest, depending on your location, it's going to be hot as balls out. It's hot as balls out right now, and uh, also for the next couple of days, so don't start skimping on that fucking deodorant just yet. It's not fall. No one wants to smell your onion pits, <clears throat> you know? It's, but it is going to be a couple good days to... Uh, Leave some fucking idiotic adults in a hot car for a few hours. You know what I mean? And I think that on days like this, all those fucks that let their kids or pets in a fucking car should be tossed in an all-black car in no fucking shade and let them sweat it out. You know, how's it feel, cocksuckers? You know, take some cookie dough with you. Make some cookies. Maybe you can have a snack before you sweat your last drop, you son of a bitch. And fellas. Don't be expecting a blowjob from your significant other as soon as you walk in the door when you get home. Ain't, ain't no one want to suck no swamp dick. However, there may be a couple of you hoes out there, you nasty motherfuckers, that would. But for the majority, no. I could soak that thing in some fabuloso for a couple hours. Then give it a shot. Speaking of giving it a shot. <clears throat> excuse me. Anyone ever pop a hemorrhoid during, an during anal sex? Like getting fucked in the ass, you know? Now you're just taking that ass straight to cell block eight. Then you look down and you think your woman started her period. Then you remember you're trying to give her her first pink sock. You know? That's just fucking nasty. You better eat her ass for a few. And lick it clean before you stick that thing back up in there. If you're lucky, you may have knocked out a shred of lettuce from the salad shade earlier. You know? Everyone loves a good snack. I was thinking just a little bit ago... <clears throat> What if Bigfoot, uh, excuse me, what if Bigfoot was gay? And every time you walk through the woods, you're at risk of being raped. You know, the news pops on or like, tonight at 10, Bigfoot, the sexual predator? After a series of men were violently sodomized in a small West Virginia town, the community is asking why. Could Bigfoot possibly be gay? Tune in tonight after tonight's, or tune in after the, tonight's game for the scoop. Fuck, I fucked that up, didn't I? Goddamn. You know? Dudes be outside hunting with the buddy system, you know, back to back. Now you head up the tree first, Jim, and I'll keep watch. You know, who fucking knew, you know? Could you imagine a fabulous fucking Bigfoot strolling out of the woods, breaking it down to Dancing Queen? Dudes be asking their wives to take the trash out. Hey, honey, you mind taking the trash to the road tonight? Bigfoot blew a kiss at me earlier. I ain't taking no chances. His ass is for Jesus. You know, and then the fucking news comes on TV. From seclusive to sexually frustrated. Tonight we'll share one man, one man's story about his Bigfoot encounter that's left him unable to shit right for a month. <sighs> and it was just, a, it was a funny thought. You know, you may not think it's funny, but if you don't, fuck you, don't watch it. Sorry I wasted your time. Go on, move on, eat a dick. But thanks for watching to those who did. I'm McStud, and I'll catch up with you later. Deuces. Ugh.